Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to bring in an image into Background Designer to convert it to one of the pixel modes. Now, I've been sourcing some of the uh, Commodore format images and I've got a bit of a request to make more of these. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've done here. Now I've processed this image which I downloaded from some forum and we've got like the original JPEG image here and I've kind of fixed it up a bit. I did a little bit of the whatever brush that is, <laughs> the spot healing brush, I forgot for a second there. And I kind of just went over some bits and you can see how that kind of does fix up some of the things, but a lot of it I had to go into detail, uh, created masks and things to get all this nice color back. And yeah, did my best to bring it to this stage. So I think it looks um, pretty decent. I'm gonna bring this into background designer to turn it into pixels. So all I need to do is just go to a free slot, find the image, and load it in. And now I can kind of place it where I want it. I'm gonna scale it down a bit. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna turn on the Commodore mode just to see how that looks. That looks pretty cool. There's a bit of dithering going on there. I'm just going to scale it right up to it fits in this view. It's not ideal because we're not seeing the cool Tommy gun, but I just want to show you the different modes here. Now, when I placed that down, I had to press the, the little inverted comma key. As you can see, just under the cursor there, press the inverted comma key. So wherever that is in your keyboard, it, for me, it's the top left key of the keyboard. It's got some weird little kind of half staple shape and a vertical line on it as well. I don't know the name of that key. It's a, mis it's a mystery. Anyway, so you've got these um, dither ranges. I'm going to turn off show brush just so that I can see what these dither ranges do. So this one gives me a checker mode. This one's this sort of bare dither, right? You can change the range of that. It becomes quite noisy. Um, and you can have none at all. I'm going to switch it to the checker mode. Let's just bring some of that in. And it's going to try and make a checker effect. I'm trying to find those colors. Next one is horizontal lines, uh, vertical lines, uh, kind of like these shapes. Um, this one's a kind of a mix between horizontal lines and kind of like a little brick effect, which I quite like. Um, this one is just like these kind of gradient bars. You don't really see it here. Uh, these are diagonal lines, uh, diamonds, and circles. So. Uh, that looks like it needs refined a bit as well. Okay, so these are still in uh, progress on only only in this uh, beta 1.1 version as well. So that's coming soon. So I want to just undo that. I want to see how this looks. Let's bring the brush back on. See if it looks smaller. It looks pretty cool. Um, let's just choose the background to be the same like that. And I'm going to switch it up to the Commodore 64 version 2. This is my pretentious sequel to the Commodore 64. It never existed. And it's going to show you how this looks with different, uh, these other different um, checker effects. So this is the, the, the checker uh, dither. That's the line dither. Vertical. Plus it's got these little dashes, which are cool, like... Um, Turn that off. Uh, it's got these little kind of dots and the straight bars. It's kind of a unique look. And this is the pattern. Uh, this one I really like. Um, if you've ever seen artwork from James Vard, or I think it goes by the name Joe, on um, CSTB and Commodore, he kind of uses this technique, and I might have to rename this after his uh, technique because uh, I really like it. So I've managed to mimic that in the, the dither matrix and that looks pretty cool. These are the gradient bars and the diagonal bars. I really like this actually. kind of suits this image quite well. Yeah, so that is going to be the conversion for that one. 
Um, yeah, I can't fit much else in, but that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can bring a little bit of gradient into the bottom to match. It's going to be tricky. Maybe I can pick this color. Yeah, it's not going to be as good because there's a whole lot of other stuff going on. Yeah, I'll just leave it as it was. I'll just pick that one again. And then I just want to save. So I'll call this uh, Dick Tracy. Oops. I can't spell or type. C64B2. And I'm going to do a, a V1 just for the fan guys out there. I want to show you the process of that. So I'm going to change this to... See, horizontal lines work quite well. Checker works quite well as well. Let's go for the James Bard style. Yeah, I'm sure he'll appreciate that. I want to see that a bit more. I'm going to push it. Let's just get rid of the dots there. There we go. So that's going to be that one. And I'll save this as C64. Now there's something else I need to do to make this truly C64. So I'm going to jump on to XYZ draw. So micdraw.xyz. And then I'm going to import the C64. Um, there is an issue here with background design which I'm going to work on and I'm just going to cancel that because there's some missing resolution. So I'm going to open it up in here and really, in fact, what I really want to do is, it doesn't matter, I just want to like create a border so I'll just do image size, canvas size 800 on the height and I think I'll just cover this in black. I just want to make sure the we've got something compatible with 8 and that's 40 pixels um, so that's going to be 5 blocks, let's see uh, but we've got this big pixel here, let me just change the size of that image size is now 320 by 200 so I think that is an 8 block hopefully it's 10 or that's a wee bit annoying because these don't land exactly how I like, but I quite like the border there. So I'm going to work on that for background designer for sure to make sure it fits with this style of work. It's just a little bit of an afterthought, um, but I, I do need it for this workflow. So I'm going to import the image and now it fits in place. It doesn't do any, wouldn't have to do any scaling. I want to turn that scale best so because I've made this 320 by 200 it doesn't have to do anything no data no nothing just accept the changes and what it will do is it will work out the, the bad blocks and I think it's chose black as the, it always chooses black as the the main colour um, but that's actually not too bad considering you know that's the non-restrictive version and then and here is the restriction version so I just wanted to like download that export PNG I can also export like PRG and I can even preview it in Vice to see how that looks so let's let that do that and then cool that's how that would look pretty damn sweet um, considering I never did very much pixel work just cleaned up the main image and yeah uh, used a little bit of background designer thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoy converting your artwork this way and previewing it in your favourite machine of all time which is the C64. Thanks for watching. Bye.